That feels so good to have those tomatoes getting canned. If there's extra four cheese stuff in here that is not in her room right now, I'm gonna examine it, see what I wanna do, and maybe just get rid of it. Hi friends, I am just sitting down to make out my list of what I would like to get done today. So it's going to be one of those kind of get it all done, hope to accomplish everything on my list type of days. I'm just enjoying my coffee first in my I'm not spoiled, my husband just loves me mug while I write out my list here of what I need to accomplish. It's a beautiful fall day, those cool crisp mornings, and then it's supposed to be mid to upper 80s this afternoon. So I've got my sweatshirt on, my jeans, I gotta do some garden work, I've got some household chores type tasks to do. And so I just wanna bring you along today. I'm gonna put a podcast on and listen to that. Um, my first one is a Proverbs 31 Ministries podcast that I'm gonna listen to. Um, then we'll see where I go from there because when I'm outside, I like to have my earbud in. So and then I'm going to step out and do some stuff there first, then conquer the things inside and just see where the day takes me. So if you're lacking a little bit in motivation to get some things done today, you've got half an hour, you've got all day, then let's try to do this together because sometimes it's hard to just be motivated and disciplined to do those tasks that have been lingering for a while. So I got a few small things like gluing a little piece of wood chip that broke off of my daughter's dressers to a larger thing, like picking all the tomatoes, freezing them, and maybe even canning some, which is a more tedious task. So let's enjoy our coffee first for a little bit and then let's get going on our work. All right, so this is the small task I need to take care of. This chip broke off of my girls' dresser. It was a Facebook Marketplace find. It was great until, I don't know what happened. Something happened. But I'm just going to quickly glue that on. And I have I think that has been off of there for a month. So I just need to get that done and take care of it. So let's accomplish this small task first. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our way out to my tomatoes past the rubbish here. So my tomatoes have really become overgrown here. They are very large. I just have to dig in there. So all my cherry tomatoes are over here and then I have some of my larger tomatoes there. Uh, and then I'll need to take care of these sunflowers as you can see. They fell down. So I'm gonna pick through, find the tomatoes first and get those frozen or canned, and then I'll come back out and cut the sunflowers. So I'll just accomplish that one whole task first of tomatoes. pretty good picking of stuff here. I ended up finding a couple peppers. I picked one of my red onions too. I do pick my large tomatoes a little bit early because the grasshoppers are so bad that they're eating them when they get a little riper. But ch cherry tomatoes this year are just prevalent. So I think I'm going to can up a couple quarts of cherry tomatoes because it's super easy. Um, and so I'm just gonna do that and then come back out and cut some sunflowers. So I've been freezing my large tomatoes, just coring them and sticking them in the freezer so that when I have some more time in the winter, other than when there's maggots, ugh, when there's more time in the winter, I can get to these. So I'll put these ones on my windowsill and then I'll switch out and do the more ripe ones here.
feels so good to have those tomatoes getting canned and I just have a few on my windowsill there and I'm gonna take out the ones I put in that gallon freezer bag to our deep freeze for like I said later canning when I have more time. So I haven't cleaned out my dryer in a while. So I'm gonna take a little time to just vacuum out the lint area and maybe wipe it down a little bit. So I'll see what I get done there and then I'll have to monitor the pressure canner here when it gets up to pressure. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And then I do need to just vacuum this area back here. There's our back porch. It's not the best um, setup for a washer and dryer. I prefer our washer and dryer to be somewhere where it doesn't get so gross and dirty because <laughs> we enter in our back porch. But it is how it is because we live in a very small house and I'm very grateful for a washer and dryer. So I'm gonna vacuum this out. done it's just going um, down to zero for pressure then I'll remove the lid and take the jars out but I'm gonna head outside and cut my sunflowers down now and then we have a trailer I'll put them on in our shed so that this weekend my husband and I can haul them out so the hauling out to our um, yard and garden debris place is really close but not gonna happen today so I'm halfway through my list so I'm really excited about that it's been nice to accomplish all of that before lunchtime I did decide just to take the ones that were standing down too because they're gonna eventually fall down and they were dead anyways. So those are down. I'm trying to dig out the roots too and like the stalks and some of those are so massive. But it's good to have those down. I'll haul these back to our shed and we'll haul them out over the weekend. sweaty and warm but I decided to tear out the rest of my beans I picked the last of those and also my cucumbers as it's just time things are looking poor looking ragged and the last of them were uh, hanging on the vine so I picked those got my beans washed up and so uh, yeah, it's just sad to see the garden almost done, but it's also nice to have some garden cleanup finished too. So one more outside task I believe I need to get done. I'm going to vacuum out the car a little bit. It's been um, probably two months or so since I've really cleaned it out. And you know, when kids eat snacks in there, I haul things in the back, it gets dirty. So I'm just going to vacuum out, maybe wipe it out a little bit, and that will hopefully bring us up to noon. So most of my list is done before lunchtime, which is incredible. That way I'll have some time to edit a video this afternoon at nap time and maybe even relax a little bit, enjoy the outdoors with maybe some more transplanting of moms or whatever I would like to do. Okay, 
Okay, so my list is complete. I made a smoothie for lunch and I'm working on that. But I have been wanting to go through some of my girls' totes of clothing. So I get hand-me-downs from my sisters and so they have all girls <laughs> pretty much too. And so I have a lot of girls' clothes and I've just been going through and um, going through getting rid of things that might be stained or dirty and then also putting together lots of clothes to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I do quite well selling girls clothes on there. So right now it's coming upon fall and winter. So I'm gonna go through a couple of the um, sizes of totes. So I have a 3T tote out here. Neither of my girls are in that size. One is in a 4T and one is in a 24 month. So I don't feel like I need 10 pairs of pants for a child or um, 20 sweatshirts. So I'm gonna go through and see what I can put together to try to make a lot to list on Marketplace. So if you ever have questions about selling on Marketplace, um, feel free to ask. It's something, kind of a hobby that I've enjoyed doing that has been kind of a side income that is working for us as well. So that kind of becomes like my extra um, money for paying some bills or fun money or grocery money. So if you ever want to get started on something like that, I highly recommend going through things in your house and getting rid of it. So I'm going to go through a couple totes here and see what I can purge. Okay, so I think I am good on going through everything here. I will just get rid of some winter things. So that pile right over there is gonna be what I'm going to try to sell. I, I realized I already went through this tote, so I'm getting rid of more than I had. I'm not gonna sell any spring, summer clothes yet because they won't sell yet. So just working on the winter things. So save some pajamas, um, a couple winter dresses, like my 24 month clothing girl right now and I don't know if she'll be in 3T next winter or not or if she'll be in 3T over the summer so that's really hard to know so I'm trying to save just some of all the seasons there. Okay now I'm on to the 4T and some 5T clothes that I've actually been gifted already. So I'm gonna try to keep my girls' wardrobe pretty minimal this season too. So I'm hoping to have like two dresses for them. I've already transitioned a little bit to fall clothing in their closet just because it is cooler in the mornings and evenings. So you gotta put some long sleeves in, some pants. Um, so if there's extra 4T stuff in here that is not in her room right now, I'm gonna examine it, see what I wanna do, and maybe just get rid of it. So this whole big pile is gonna be a 5T lot. It's pretty much all 5T. I think this is like a four or five. There might be another shirt that's like a four to five T. But yeah, these are all of the things that I'll be putting back in my daughter's drawer. Um, these are all dresses, hand-me-downs. Oh, this is a hoodie. She doesn't really like hoodies because she gets too hot, but I think I'm gonna keep it because it's brand new. We'll see what she likes this season. And then just pulled a few more things out of that bin. Yeah, so here's one of the here's one of the new pants. So I don't know, super straight. She's just more in the skinny now than in the straights. So I'll probably be selling those as well. But so nice to know that I can be getting rid of that. And look at this tote. Like it was full. So now it's a lot more open and I'll be able to fill it with um, the 4T stuff from summer that will go in there and future 5T things. I think I'm going to be done going through clothes. Pictures are taken and then I'll just eventually post them on Facebook. So I might do one more thing here before I finish my get it all done. It was basically a morning of get it all done. I want to touch up the front of our door, our front door, because it just has started peeling a little bit. There's just some spots that are showing white and it's brown. So I want to just do a little bit of that touch up and call it a full morning of get it all done. So I hope you were motivated today to just get it done on your list what you can 
and just be encouraged that whatever you get done in whatever time allotment that you have that you know that you can do that and just make time and effort to do those little things or those big things that need to be done well i hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and let's go touch up the front door mm -hmm.